G'day punters, game three, state of origin, tab set of six. Laurie Daly filling in for Minnie who's on holidays over in Italy. Loz, look, New South Wales $1.38, Queensland $3.10, 87% of the holds for New South Wales. New South Wales haven't been this short since. Freddie's last game as a player back in 2004. Why do they win this series? Oh, I think there's a couple of reasons why. Obviously, Queensland without Kalen Ponga, there's no Matt Gillett. Uh, they're two big losses for the Queensland side. And the intensity and the ferocity that New South Wales played with in Game 2 uh, was something that we haven't seen in a long while. They dominated through the middle of the park. Uh, their line speed and defence, they just hit their targets. They were very aggressive. Um, they moved forward very swiftly. And with the ball, they executed their skill and they all understood their role. If they bring that same intensity to Game 3, they just win. Mm. And I think these players now have understood why Origin is so important to the people in New South Wales and why it should be important to them. And I think that'll be a dri driving force for them. Just quickly, do you think Dave Clemmer will start? I'd start Dave Clemmer. Mm. I couldn't believe that he was left out of Game 3. Uh, he's the most dominant and most productive front rower in the game. Um, New South Wales need his aggression with the ball and without. That's the thing I like about David Clemmer. He gets the metres for the team. He creates that platform for a guy like... Uh, Damien Cook to get out of dummy half and expose Queenslanders through the middle of the park. So I'd expect him to start and maybe Paul Vaughan coming off the interchange bench. Let's make some money out of the game with the same game multi laws and you sound pretty confident on the Blues here. So uh, what, well, we're going Blues to win for a start? Yeah, Blues to win. Tommy Trebojevic to score a try. I reckon he'll score... I reckon he could score a couple, mm. but I reckon he will definitely score... Uh, I'm confident he can score off a kick as well, uh, either a bomb where he's in a one-on-one -on -one contest with Cameron Munster, or they just do one of those dink kicks where they land on top of Corey Norman mm. or uh, uh, Michael Morgan, um, and he just flies above the pack to come down and score. And New South Wales just to be in control for the full 80 minutes. So I like them to be leading at half time and at the conclusion of the game as well. Okay, half full double as well. Tommy to score at any time. Blues to win $3.70 for that three leg same game. Multi will the Blues last win in a series decider. Uh, was actually back at Suncorp Stadium at 2005, it was, and that's where we find Rowan Welsh with Trevor Gilmeister. Jared, thank you. Yes, we're at Suncorp Stadium. We're looking for a little bit of inspiration from the Maroons winning Game 1 because Game 2 was a hiding at birth. Uh, that's one to forget, Gilly. No, you're right, but if we win the third game, Rowan, everyone forgets the second game. So that, and, that's, and that's what you do. Uh, that's footy. Uh, mate, I'm really looking forward to it. I think it'll be a close game. and. Obviously, the weather will play a part down there, but you wouldn't know that with New South Wales, the way they toss the ball around over in Perth, but I still think it'll be 1-12. to 12. Does it need to be an arm wrestle for Queensland to win? And what have you made of Kevy's changes? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm pretty happy. Obviously, Carlin Pong is out. That's a big loss. But uh, Cameron Munster back to fullback. Uh, I, I think he's man of the match, uh, Cameron Munster. And if, he, if Queensland is to win, he needs to run amok there. And, and I'm sure New South Wales will put the ball up nice and yeah. high in the last tackle, not to give him room to move. But uh, I think he's man of the match for me. OK, well, that's our player watch. It's a nice little segue into there. Who else do you think will feature heavily for Queensland? Well, the big thing is Josh Papali. Uh, he played you know, a really good game, uh, game one. Uh, they got out-muscled. New, uh, you know, New South Wales forwards out-muscled the Queensland forwards in game two. So... Josh Papali's got to lead the way there. He's our, he was our uh, spiritual leader there up front. So uh, Josh, for me, is the one to watch. Not often a, uh, a front rower gets man of the match in these games, obviously because they're no. spending limited time on the paddock. I think, obviously, the halves is, is yeah. a big change there with Corey Norman coming in. His kicking game will be vital. And also, Daly Cherry Evans is smoking for mine. He has to really perform and lead this side. No, you're right, you're right. And obviously, the, the second game, none of them played really well at all. But I thought the first game, he shuffled the ball on. Uh, to Cameron Munster now. He'll give Corey Norman, I reckon, a, a fair bit of early ball as well, and he's a dangerous run of the footy, so if they can get that combination, Corey Norman, that left foot kick yeah. as well, so that, that'll be dangerous, so looking forward to a bit of a point of point of difference on both sides of the ruck, which will be good. Okay, best bet time. What have you got for us? Well, I, to be honest, I, I think New South Wales might get out to a lead. I'm thinking Blake Ferguson might score the first try. Uh, I think they might lead at half time. Uh, Dane Gay guy, I, I know I've been there. <laughs> he's a man. He, he's sick of me. But uh, <laughs> mate, I reckon he'll score the last try in Queensland to win, one to twelve. Okay, so that's New South Wales in front at yeah. half time. Queensland to come home, the half full double. Also, Blake Ferguson first try scorer. Dane Gay guy last try. Cameron Munster man of the match. Ah, oh, you've wrapped oh, it up. Some gilly gold there. It's <laughs> fantastic. Have you got a final tip? Laurie's subbed in obviously for uh, for Mini. Any tips for Laurie perhaps? No, nah, mate, not really. Um, do their best they'll be licking their wounds uh after this game some fighting words there from the the axe trevor gilmister jared back to you
Oh, licking your wounds, apparently, Loz. <laughs> I'll tell you what, though. The fact he's even put Blake Ferguson in his tips to score the first try. I mean, it just seems like, even though he's putting on a brave face there, Gilly, uh, the swagger seems to have gone from the Queensland faithful heading into this one. I think it has. And you know the other thing that surprises me? They're actually mentioning New South mm. Wales and they're mentioning their players. That's mm. been a no-no for Kevy. Uh, but no, Gilly, you've had a lot of success in the past, mate, but get used to being at the bottom because I think <laughs> New South Wales are about to go on a run. This will be two in a row and I think we can actually dominate for the next couple of years. Okay, so your banker here is actually my bet from the previous game. Yeah, New South Wales to win with Tommy Trebojevic to score a try. The thing I like about Trebojevic, he's not a centre that just holds his width in position. He'll actually go looking for mm. the ball. So he can be dangerous through the middle of the field, but he can also be a danger on an edge. $3.25 for that to score and win. I'm going to winning margin, and I think New South Wales is going to win this 19-plus at $4.20. I do think Queensland will be in the game for 55, 60 minutes, and yeah. then the floodgates will really open late there, and uh, the Blues, they've just got too many weapons lost. Yeah, I tend to agree with that. I think, you know, at that 60-minute mark, Queensland will be there or thereabouts. Mm. They'll probably, you know, be six to ten points behind New South Wales, chasing their tail, and then I can see New South Wales just forging ahead at the end and, and, and maybe scoring a couple of those uh, extra tries to extend the margin. So I'm with you. I think New South Wales win. I think this is our best chance in a long while to go back to back. Great to have you on, Loz. Always a pleasure. And uh, as far as we're concerned, go the Blues. You can check out uh, the words tips too on the Tab blog. And we'll see you next week. Good luck, punters.